Hi guys. I wanted to talk about substitute teachers today in your acro class. We had uh, some really great discussion in the online certification class uh, about getting substitutes. And one of the teachers was talking about how she got a substitute and the teacher knew her acro and came in and kind of like changed everything and it took her a long time to fix the damage that was done from this teacher. She was pushing kids ahead. They were working on tricks that they weren't ready for. Even though she had put together a lesson plan, very clear details in her lesson plan of what to do, and it almost kind of doesn't make it worth it because you have to undo some damage. Let me give you another example. This happened to me. I was gone for like two weeks, two and a half weeks, got a sub. So grateful to find somebody who's qualified. It's hard to find a acro sub. Um, totally appreciated that she did it, knew her stuff, knew how to spot all that, but did not follow the lesson plan. Like full out just did her own thing. And like we're on a real tight schedule like i'm pushing in class because it's, there's a lot to learn in a one hour class and i don't have time for any extra stuff and so you know very tight lesson plan teacher came in working on aerials and we we're like working on cartwheels and bridge kickovers and the kids were like let's try aerials and she said okay and let them work on aerials and um i came back and honestly it took me about three four weeks to fix the damage and while I appreciated the, the fact that I had a sub and she was willing to do that for me, it almost wasn't worth it because now I had to fix everything. So what do you do? You still need to be able to take a break. What do you do? So you know what I do now is I have my kids on a system. They're all working towards their own individual goals. And when we have a sub now, the sub does the warm up and the kids work on their own thing. We have sticker charts, and we've talked about sticker charts before and how awesome they are, because everybody really is on their own lesson. They're on their own uh, schedule. And so if I have a sub, I have them do a nice, good, long technique warm up with strength and flex and everything, and spend like a good 20 minutes on that, and the rest of the class, the kids work on their own sticker chart, and they know what they're working on, okay? So the only lesson plan I have to give my sub is do a technique warm up, strength and flex, and then they can have fun with that. Like I, I welcome them doing their own thing. They're like, yeah, make them do crazy different kind of push ups that I've never thought of before, or you know, whatever. That's great for them. But then I don't have them working on maybe a different technique technique. Okay. Like muscle memory is a real thing. Okay. Like undoing mus muscle memory and acro is a very big job. Okay. So I don't want them teaching different technique. You know, you, they, they're teaching their technique to their students, but they're on their own system. And that's maybe not what I'm doing in my class. And I don't want to have to deal with undoing that muscle memory. Okay. But then they're just working on the kids sticker charts. So they have their own charts. Everyone is working on their own thing with mats everywhere. And the kids know what they're working on and the teacher can then wander and help and correct. So I hope that helps <laughs> when you do, when the time comes that you're gonna need a sub for your acro classes, or you know, you've probably been in this situation before, this is my secret hack on keeping my kids um, working on what they're supposed to when I need a sub, okay? So hopefully that helps teachers. Have a great day.